this is for the saved people, okay? This is for if you've been walking for Jesus longer than, let's just say, six months or three months. There's something about when you first come to Jesus, you know it had nothing to do with your works. Jesus didn't save you because you read your Bible, because you prayed a prayer, because you tithed a certain amount of money. You did X, Y, and Z. So now God loves you and he'll save you. No, God just loved you and poured out his grace on you freely. And so your relationship with him is totally dependent on a free gift. I learned this the hard way through my own life and I realized so many people carry this weight in their, in their life. Somewhere along the way, you begin to think your works have something to do with how Jesus, how much Jesus is satisfied in you. Let me prove it to you. For the first two weeks you're saved, if I don't read my Bible, I don't care. I just came out of pornography and I came out of drug abuse. So why would Jesus? Why do I care about not reading my Bible? Like that is a small thing in comparison to what I just came out of. You walk in freedom for a few years, a few months, and then all of a sudden you wake up to read your Bible and you're like feeling condemned. Galatians 3.1 Oh foolish Galatians, oh foolish fill in your name. Who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun by the Spirit, are you now being perfected by the flesh? Let me translate. If what saved you is the grace of God... Why do you think your works are going to uphold and continually like maintain the relationship you have with Jesus now? If grace, it was, if it was only the grace of God and the love that he had for you that started y'all's relationship, why do you think that your actions three years in have anything to do with whether y'all's relationship is healthy or not? Because last time I checked, I had nothing to do with whether I was righteous, unrighteous, holy, unholy, loved or unloved. I was loved perfectly before I ever did one good thing for Jesus. That's the gospel. Romans 5, 8. For Christ died for us while we were sinners. Christ died for you while you were in the middle of your sin. Guys, I'm, I'm about to lose my mind. I'm so fired up about this. This is the testimony. Christ died for you while you were in the middle of the sin. Christ, If Christ loved you while you were a sinner, which means like, while you were in sin, he loved you perfectly. That means his love cannot improve based on the good things you do. So that means if you read your Bible seven days a week, God is not more happy with you than if you didn't do it because he already loved you perfectly. Do you realize that that means that your love, his love for you would be incentive based? Y'all get that, right? We get that. We, we get that that's not the case, when we first get saved, but for some reason, this is my testimony, for some reason along the way, I picked up a workspace relationship back with God that I'm like, I didn't get up and read my Bible and I feel bad about myself, but at the end of the day, God's love is not dependent on whether I get up and read my Bible or not. The beautiful thing about the love of Jesus is the same way he maintained, and the same way he saved us in the beginning is the same way he maintains us now. By grace through faith.